to show you how to colorize your photograph of food for the assignment food coloring. What I've done is I've opened a picture of food in GIMP and before I start editing I am going to duplicate my background. So I go into my layer palette, I click on my background and I go down to the bottom of the palette and I click on this icon to duplicate the background. And what this does is it allows me a safety net in case I do something terrible and I can't fix it, I can just take that background copy and throw it in the garbage and start fresh. So now I have my background copy. I'm safe here in case I make a mistake. I'm going to select an object that I want to color. And in this case, I'm going to select this pickle. And we have several selection tools. Click on them here. Some are better than others depending on the type of object you're selecting. I am going to use a combination of two selection tools. I'm going to use the path tool and I'm going to use the quick mask tool. So I'll start with the path tool. I want to make sure that my color is set to black, which it is, and I'm going to make sure that the design is selected. So the way this works is you click to start and you click to drag just a tiny bit at a time. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag and you select around the whole pickle as close as you can. I'm going to pause this so I can finish the job. So now that I'm done, I am going to click Selection from Path and my pickle is now sparkling. We call them marching ants. Now if you notice, I didn't do a very good job down at the bottom. It was a little difficult. So I'm going to now use my Quick Mask tool. So I go down to the bottom left corner of my window and I click on Quick Mask tool. What this does is the red is masking out the areas that I don't want to edit. So now I can zoom in as far as I want. And I can use the paintbrush tool to paint on mask where I missed some spots. Or I could take the eraser tool and erase part of the mask where I went too far. I'm moving around by holding down the space bar and clicking and dragging. Just hold down the space bar and then you can click and drag to a new area of the picture. This pickle is very bumpy. It's going to take me a few minutes, so again, I'm going to pause this uh, video and finish the job. Okay, I'm done trying to perfect my selection and I can now turn off the quick mask by clicking down here. And as you can see, my pickle is now selected. It has these marching ants around it. I'm not going to color directly on this background layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer. So I go to my layer mode and I'm going to go down to the bottom left and create a new layer. I'm going to call this pickle one. I want transparency set and click OK. Now I can experiment with some colors. So I'm going to try some things. I'm going to try picking a color like, hmm, I don't know, how about blue? I pick blue and I can use the paint bucket to fill this in blue. Now when I fill this in, it's just a flat color. In order for it to blend with the background, I have to go over to where it says layers mode and I'm going to change it from normal to screen or normal to overlay, or normal to soft light. You can experiment. Addition, subtract, experiment to see what works best. But what you want to have happen is you want the color to blend with the background so that you still have the texture, you still have highlights, and you still have shadows. Um, this is interesting. I'm not in love with it. I could try a different color. Maybe I'll try uh, red. Try red. And use the paint bucket to fill it in, see how it looks. Don't like that either. You can also adjust the color by messing with the opacity, the transparency. So I can make the color a little less obvious or more see through. Dragging this. Okay, I really don't like this, so I'm going to press the delete button and I'm going to try something different. Instead of picking the color fill, I can pick the back pattern fill. So I could try something like rain. So I'll take the paint bucket 
fill this in. I'm going to change this to normal mode so that you can see what it looks like. So that's what rain looks like at 100% opaque. If I change this to screen, eesh, a little overlay. Eh, it's okay. It's not great. I don't like it. I'm pressing delete. What I want to do instead, I think instead of using the paint bucket, I'm going to use the gradient. Now the gradient is a cool tool that you can make colors blend. So when I click on the gradient, it brings this window open. Then I can click on the gradient window and I can pick some colors that I'd like to use. I'm going to try this color, foreground to background. Now, I'm not in love with the color combination. I'd like to get rid of some of the white. So I'd like to edit that. In order to edit, go down to this bottom right corner, click on this, move this up, and I'm going to duplicate the layer, to duplicate the gradient, and I'm going to call this pickle color. Now what I can do is I can move these little arrows around. create the gradient that I like. I think this is good. I'm happy with it. So all I have to do is close it out. Now it's time to use it. Now I can go linear. I can go bilinear. Radial is probably not a great idea because it will make the pickle not look, actually that's not too bad. It looks like it has a rotten spot. But it might end up making the pickle not look round. Let's try square. The way this works is you click and drag. I'm going to go to linear and I'm going to turn this back to normal mode to show you what it's going to look like. I'm going to go to bilinear and I'm going to click and drag. Now I'm going to want my lines to go parallel to the pickle. Right now they're perpendicular and it will not um, make the pickle look round. So I'm going to drag this way and I'm going to keep moving, keep trying things until I get my bands of color parallel to the pickle. And that looks pretty good. Now I can change this back to overlay. Interesting. I don't think I really like that color. I'm going to try a different one instead. Hmm, what if I start in the middle? Hmm, interesting. That's cool. Okay, I'm done. And now what I'm going to do is deselect my pickle. So I go to select, go to none, click on that, and now it's not selected. Now I'm going to turn these layers off just to show you what a hard edge this selection is. You're going to want to soften this edge. So I'm going to leave these layers hidden so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to click on pickle that layer and I'm going to select my blur tool and what I'm going to do is wipe the blur tool over the outer edge of this color. And what it will do is it will soften the edges and make this look more realistic. Anytime you make a selection you want to do uh, softening the edge with the blur tool. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is turn my layers back on and you notice how my pickle is bumpy and these lines are very straight. I can use this smudge tool to move the color around. Again, I'm going to turn off the two layers to show you what it does. Now, did you notice that my color is red? If I use a smudge tool, it doesn't smudge the whole, all the colors with the red. But if I select it to black, it should smudge all of the colors like, together more solidly. I'm going to turn my layer back on, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the color around to create a more realistic look to my pickle. And I think I need a little bigger brush here because I want to make this kind of speed up a little bit. There we go. Now it looks more realistic. I think I need a little more blurring on this edge. So 100% blur. Just a little extra blurring. 
You can also use a smudge tool to blur any problem as it moves the color. You might move the color where you don't want it. Okay, so let's see what the problem of my blurring and the smudging. Let me fix this. There we go. Keep blurring until you're happy. And now I am finished. What I'll do, and I'm not going to do it now, is I will color the rest of my pickles in the same manner. I will add a new layer. Pickle 2, I'll name this one. Instead of transparency, I will use the pen tool to select the new pickle. I will use the click mask tool to tweak the selection. Once it is selected, I will add color to it. I will change the transparency, the layer mode, and I will blur it and I will smudge it. I hope you find this helpful.